Hey, what's up? It's Jake. Against my better judgment, I'm going to build uh, an image with Packer in a Docker container. I know it's the same as AWS, but somebody's going to want it, so I figure I'll go through it. All right, so we already did the install Packer. We have a Packer tutorial directory. What we don't have is a Docker Ubuntu Packer file. So we'll go ahead and hit that up. Touch Docker Ubuntu. All right, and we're going to copy this. If you haven't seen my previous video, watch that and it'll explain what all this is. I'm going to get a source here. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all this other stuff as if it never happened. So, we're just going to take all this and we're going to delete it and we're going to start all the way over. Okay, cool. We already described what all this is in the source block and blah, 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 the build block. So we're going to go ahead and run a packer in it because everything changed in this directory. And it's installed the plugin for Docker, which we have, and we're good to go. So let's just run a packer format. Make sure this sucker is formatted correctly, which it kind of was. And then let's validate our template. Configuration is valid. All right, so now we're just going to build a packer image. Well, we're really going to build a Docker image from this Packer template. All right, so make sure you have Docker installed on your machine. I'm not going to do a tutorial on installing Docker. Feel free to go look that up. But uh, while this is running, it would probably be good for me just to do a little Docker PS and see what I have running. Ah, I do have something running. Yes, I have a project running. All right, so now it's got to pull this file system layer. It does a checksum on the downloads, and then it's going to do all the things. It's basically just pulling a Docker image and all the required things inside of it. Docker run. Okay, so look at this. So it's got an image, and it's doing a Docker run. So it's actually running this detached, interactive, TTY, entry point, bin, sh, and we're good. Kill the container, blah, successful builds or Docker images. So I should be able to go to Docker images and see this sucker. So here it is, Ubuntu Zenial, and it was created. Boom, just like that. It's faster than doing it on AWS. Uh, let's sell the Docker images. We did that. Manage the image. Okay, so let's just get rid of this. Here's our ID. Docker remove image. I was just kidding. Apparently I didn't copy it. Copy, paste. Air response, unable to delete. Image has dependent child images. Uh, oh, because it made it from this one? Let's go look. It did build it correctly. Oh, maybe I have a... It, it built this from this, I think is what it did. So let's delete the other one. Boop, 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 boop. Bam, Docker images. Yep, so just like you would create a temporary instance in AWS in order to create an AMI, it's downloading the Ubuntu image and then creating an image from the Ubuntu image. The only difference is it doesn't actually delete the Ubuntu image, so now you're stuck with it whether you want it or not. Don't like that, but oh well. All right, so the next thing, uh, we did all this stuff, we did that stuff, we add provisioner, to our template. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Build. Let's add a provisioner right here. And it's just going foo, hello world kind of deal. Your code blocks should look like this. Build. Oh, I need to wait. I need to put it inside my. in here. Okay. Uh, packer format. Gross. I'm just going to copy this because I hate the way this is indented right now so much. Save. All right. Let's build this image. Go. All right. So we can see here we have an Ubuntu image. So it's pulling the latest Ubuntu Zenial image, which is what I have right here. And it should, because Docker's cache is awesome. 
uh, whatever it's writing should already have it in there, but it should pick up that I already have this. Images up to date. Cool. Start in the container. There's no Docker build. It's a Docker run. I'm interested to see what this looks like. So if I do a Docker images, I can see it created an image here. But what if I do Docker container ls? Dock it. Docker container ls. All. Yeah, these are all my projects. So it's not actually creating a container per se. It's just creating an image. Okay, cool. Verifying up the image. You'll need an image ID. So we saw that. And then let's do Docker run. Oh, gross. It doesn't do it detached. All right. That's fine. Docker images. Let's grab this Docker image ID for this guy. Docker run. Blah. No ports, no nothing. I'm just in it. All right. In the Docker container shell, print the contents of example text file. And if it ran correctly, it should say foo is hello world. And there it is. All right. Let's get out of our container. And we can add more provisioners. So, and just like our previous one, it's just going to echo this. So... Uh, that's really all it does. It just has an extra little provisioner that says, hey, look at me, I did a thing. And then we'll go ahead and build this. I do like this better than AWS. It's so much faster. And then I can just push it to ECR or something like that. Or Docker Hub if you're into that kind of thing. All right, so that'll build. That does all the things. And then the next thing we do is start to do variables. So while that's running, we did all these prerequisites. And then we're going to add this variable to our file. So let's copy this. I'll wait for it to finish. While it's finishing, I can put this in here because it's done using it. Uh, committing container, killing a container, successful build, boom. Docker images. And now I have two. All right. So I went ahead and added this variable. So now we have the Docker image default Ubuntu Zineal, and that's in the name. Uh, default value, tree packer variables is constants, pretty much the same thing. Uh, yeah. So then we have a second provisioner with a Docker image. So we're going to need to have provisioner shell show that, which we don't need to do that. Build the image. It's going to have two of them. And then you can use file. It does the exact same thing as AWS. Go next. Parallel builds. It's going to do the exact same thing, but make two containers at the same time. Yep, Ubuntu, Ubuntu Bionic. That's exactly what it does. It just builds two. And then post processors, it does the exact same thing. Um, and it runs this provisioner shell and the post processor. And what's it going to do? Repository, learn packer. So it's going to add Docker tags so it can go to a repository. Fair enough. Easy enough. Not worth going through. Anyways, there's a quick down and dirty on using packer to build Docker containers. Um, should you do it? Yeah, sure. Why not? If you're doing it as a dev, like on your laptop, it's probably overkill. But if you're doing it as a part of your workflow, absolutely. But as you get you started, it's probably enough to get you started. And most people probably won't use more than that. So I'm pretty sure you learned 90% of what you need to know about Docker containers and Packer through just this last, what, nine minutes.